In this video, we'll go over adding and managing employee usernames. Employee usernames can be added, removed, and edited in the Employee Setup page. If you have over 20 employees to add, it might be worth using our Employee Import option. You can find the instructions and a template for the import in the Setup menu, Import. If you decide to use Import, make sure to set up any desired departments, locations, and shifts within the system prior to importing. Departments, locations, and shifts are discussed in later videos. For now, we will discuss how to add one employee at a time using the Employee Setup page. First, create a username. This will be the identifier assigned to the employee logging in. If you are importing reports into a payroll software, the usernames may need to match the name format in your payroll software. Otherwise, there are no requirements or standards for the usernames. You can also add an employee number. This is required when using a fingerprint face or badge reader and may be needed if importing into a payroll software. You can enter a password for employees to use or you can leave this field blank. If left blank, employees can log in without a password the first time and the system will prompt them to create one. If you add an email address and check the send box, when you save changes, your employee will receive an email with their login information and instructions. The email address is also used for employees to be able to reset their password, if permitted to do so. This permission is located in Setup, Company Login. Once you've filled out the employee information, you can click Add Employee and repeat until you are done. Once employees have a username, they can log in and start clocking in and out on their time card. Again, if you did not set a password for an employee, they will log in without a password the first time. The system will prompt them to create a password, then we'll have them log in again. Adding additional information about your employees, like pay rate and hire date, can be done in the Employee HR Setup page. By default, only the admin can see the pay rates and gross pay totals in reports. To activate gross pay information in reports, check out the General Setup Options page located in the Setup menu. Hire dates can be important to add if you choose to track PTO in the time clock system. This is also where you can set usernames to salary. The Access page has a lot of important tools for username-specific accessibility. At the top, you can allow employees to use our internal messaging system. The first several columns would grant the employee access to reports that normally only the admin and supervisors would have. These allow the employee to see a breakdown of their PTO usage, a report with customizable signature statements, and, if using shifts, a report that compares their times to the designated times of their assigned shift. If you apply clock-in location restrictions, you can make individual employees exempt from that restriction if applicable. You can grant access for employees to use the ETC mobile app, which will be covered in a later video. Another, less commonly used method of clocking is through text message. This method has an additional charge of five cents per punch. To get started with text message clocking, please contact support. One of the most important parts of this page is the time card edit column. This column gives you options on how employees can manage their time cards. None means they have no rights to change anything on their time card. They can only clock in and out. Add entry allows them to manually add time but not edit or delete punches. Change request allows the employee to add, change, or delete any time on their time card. However, the change must be approved by the admin or a supervisor before it will apply to the time card. If you are looking for employees to request PTO time, this is the option you will want. Lastly, edit allows the employee to add, edit, or delete anything from their time card with no approval process.